go. Hello everybody, this is Coach Kelly here uh, with you with an important message. This is not um, something I'm doing for fun at all. I don't have time for this really. And I, I, uh, I'm making a mess and Dalton's going to be on me about cleaning my mess up when I get done. <clears throat> However, due to the circumstances that we're in, in these times that we're living in, um, we need to learn to protect our bodies. Okay, the physical bodies God gave us are the temples of the Holy Spirit. God dwells within us if we believe. Um, we're in a, involved in a pandemic. And there's a lot of really confusing things that are going on that have been going on, shady things that have gone on uh, with the Chinese Communist Party, uh, with the Democratic Party, and with the Republican Party, uh, and with uh, all those people in between, including shady businessmen and manufacturers of medications, pharmaceutical companies, doctors, Lawyers, judges, preachers, teachers, everybody, every, there's people everywhere who are not doing what they're supposed to do. They're, they're uh, speaking untruths that can lead people astray and cause people to be harmed, injured, become ill, and to die. So I'm saying this, I've got six daughters, 12 grandbabies, and a son. And I was called a long time ago to lift up <clears throat> the weak knees to, to uh, set the captives free to help people uh, to teach. And so that's what I'm trying to do right now. I'm trying to help people out. Fortunately, uh, my path was led into the United States Army where I was a combat medic at the age of 46 years old. I re-enlisted into the military. I know 42 was the cutoff, but at 46 I went in thanks to God, his guidance and Kent Davis, uh, my big brother who who got me back in at the age of 46, become a combat medic. <clears throat> so much I can say about that. It was awesome dealing with infectious diseases and dealing with uh, medical things, uh, and training environments and real world uh, situations like in Haiti. Uh, that, that changed my life. Haiti really changed my life a lot. A lot. Um, but nonetheless, uh, I, these are just visuals I put out here to try to get people's attention to protect your body, right? Fight the good fight of faith because that is the... Uh, the only way you're going to win. The, the, and the weapon that we use is the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. You've got to trust in God's Word and have faith in it. Have faith in God and in His Word. Th this is to show you my credentials, and I do know what I'm talking about, okay? I've researched more than what this is, and this is just a small, small little bit of the certifications that I have that shows that I have studied uh, past tests. Um, I had been commended by the health department, by Ms. Jenna Hale uh, here, for my uh, knowledge and my application and my passion for dealing with uh, COVID-19. That was the Tarrant County Health Department, uh, Jenna Hale, and then um, uh, uh, Officer uh, Cripson Gibson, a uh, wonderful man from Code Compliance, he also commended uh, my efforts in, a, in the work environment to help out with the uh, prevention and control of COVID-19, a worldwide pandemic that shut the world down. Okay, so these are just some certificates I'm gonna show you so you'll listen to me. These are visuals to get your attention. I've got my guitar sitting over there. I'll play a couple of songs too, but you need to please listen to me, okay? These are just a few of the credentials I got. This right here is from the World Health Organization, which I know uh, it's, it's a man-made organization, but I'll tell you what, when it started out, <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful organization that's, that's and not to say it's not going to continue to be the better or re resume being that. Uh, we can't hate the World Health Organization. We can't hate the United Nations. <laughs> uh, human rights, as it was designed by the United States and other countries collectively after the World Wars, to stop tyranny and stop uh, genocide and the evil things that happened in this in this world. But I'm just telling you, these people are entities that were placed there. God has said, you know, those authorities that are there are allowed to be there, placed there by God for the righteous, for the people that choose to do good, and for the punishment of those who choose to do evil, okay? So, anyway, emerging respiratory viruses, including COVID-19, methods for detection, prevention, and response, and control, okay? This right here is from the, the, the Texas Health and Human uh, Services, okay? The Texas Department of State of Health uh, Services. Uh, this is FEMA, the Federal Emergency Management Administration. I know we hear a lot about FEMA and what they, how they could be, be being used to put us all in cages and, and things like that and whatever. You know, there may be some truth to that, okay? 
but nonetheless, introduction to the continuity of operations, planning for pandemic influence, influences. Um, I've got a bunch of them that are not out here uh, for all kinds of uh, uh, aspects of learning to be able to deal with COVID-19. We've got the, of course, the Occupational Safety and Health Professional. I'm in college right now, working towards my bachelor's in Occupational Safety and Health, which a lot has to do with COVID-19. By the way, I've, I've got this on as a visual. This is an N99, N99 uh, respirator, okay? And this right here will block out 99, 98, 99% of, of any airborne particles in particular, anything that's in the air, which includes COVID-19, it will block it out, this will. Now, if I'm doing this, ain't gonna do me no good, right? Everybody understands that, but nonetheless, you've gotta do what you can do. You don't just wanna breathe it in a virus, an airborne disease. So this right here is an N99. Now, I'm gonna tell you this, this was, it has to do with corruption in my opinion. Uh, these right here were not permitted to be given to the public, okay? The, I, immediately when the pandemic started, I went to work uh, with, with my uh, colleague, uh, Dorinda Holt, Dorinda Hartsaw, um, my girlfriend when I was in middle school. <laughs> she got me hired on at a job with her uh, as a safety uh, coordinator. And she went to work and she found every possible form of PPE and, and uh, cleansing and, and sanitizing chemicals and equipment that we could use. And I had, we had a man by the name of um, uh, Todd Lowe, who was an awesome guy. He's a businessman, so, so some people maybe wouldn't like him because he seemed a little too about the money, but that's what his job was. And he recognized what I was doing. He first opposed me with masks because we went to work producing masks made of polypropylene, which will block out the, uh, the virus. Um, and I opposed him. He had uh, another man who was considered a hero of mine, um, at, um, the, who's the plant manager, Francisco Ramirez. He uh, he was following behind me when I was going through the plant, offering these masks that we had made uh, to employees to protect themselves from this respiratory virus that was floating in the air that can float, can float for minutes, hours, maybe, possibly, uh, within a six foot area around the people that are, you know, in that area where someone who may be con uh, uh, infected with the disease. And he went around and says, you know, the masks are gonna help you. you know? So we, we had a big meeting, I wanted to talk to the corporate lawyer, the CEO, and them, because they were opposing what I was telling them. And all I was telling them is what I'd known and what I knew, what I'd learned from the United States Army Medical Regiment, uh, who knows what they're doing. And the United States Army deploys and helps people with human rights and with health issues like I've never seen. Blew me away when I ended up on a mission with them to Haiti, uh, the, the good work that they had done and what NATO was doing to help the NATO forces, the combat engineers, the, it was incredible, unbelievable what they were doing. So really affected my life. But these right here will, is what you need. You need an N99 uh, respirator or a half mask. Or you could go further than that, but we can't walk around obviously like that. But these right here will work. Now, there's other masks that they have. Um, my daughter, Camille, made a bunch of uh, masks for me for my company that I paid for myself uh, to provide to the managers and supervisors and. I was wanting to make sure, after we'd made over a thousand masks out of polypropylene, but she made things like this here, they were colorful and designed. Now, now Mr. Fauci, Mr. Fauci had uh, gotten on, on, on international television and told the world that all you need is one of these. Well, first he said, mask won't help you. Don't wear a mask. There's no need to wear a mask. A pandemic to shut down the world? You don't need a mask, don't wear a mask, don't go around wearing masks. First he said that, and I knew there was something really awry when he said that because I'm a combat medic. i had been through intensive training on this issue and to protect ourselves and also to, to protect other people. Also a safety professional, heavily, much more heavy into safety than what you would, your average person would. I, I, I dug deep into it. When I'm passionate about something, I go overboard. Overkill Kelly. <laughs> and while that could be not good in some ways, in, in other ways it can be to save people's lives and he said not to wear a mask later he said wear a surgical mask you know, wear one of these right here okay this will not stop a virus such as COVID-19 it by no means shape form or fashion it gives you a false sense of security it will not stop it it won't do it you know the virus will go right through it. it's trash this right here is a, is a 
is a weapon of destruction for you. If, you, if you're going around in public thinking you're protected by wearing this thing here, you've been duped and you're putting yourself at great risk. Same thing with, uh, well, you can use these things here, like he said, you wear a t-shirt, put a t-shirt over your face. Well, this right here, D.K. Haney is the, probably one of the, if not the greatest man I've ever known, the most benevolent person I've ever met in my life that reaches out and helps people, pulls them up. <laughs> out of the Maori clay, pulls them up out of just out of turmoil and destitution and helps people and is an honest businessman. D.K. Haney Roofing, uh, I worked for him. He, he came to our rescue. We were, me and Dalton were doing, going through a horrible time. D.K. Haney. But this T-shirt will not save you from the coronavirus or any other virus that is, is about to come out, be out now. So this won't work. That won't work, okay? Those viruses go right through that, that right there. Camille made these cloth masks. Uh, CDC offered, who along with Mr. Fauci said, okay, wear just a t-shirt. Well, fortunately Camille had enough uh, intuition, which is the voice of, uh, comes from the voice of her spirit, her conscience. Intuition is where you know things that didn't come externally, your conscience is where that presents that knowledge to your mind, okay, if you would, and then you make a determination. Well, Camille knew from intuition that wouldn't work, so she would, she made these with little pockets here where you would put a coffee filter in it, okay? At that point in time, you've, now you've created a barrier between you and the disease, at, at least for, for your, your mouth and your nose. But it has to be noted, the virus can enter any orifice, including your ears, <laughs> including your eyes. It can enter through your eyes too. So where we work, part of our protocol was you would wear glasses, safety glasses. You would wear the respiratory protection um, and you would maintain six foot, the six foot distancing. Um, we had uh, a company by the name of um, Bright Janitorial, an awesome company that would come in and sanitize at the drop of a hat. They would be there anytime someone suspected of having the, been contracted it, it was in the workplace around others. We would do contact tracing. We did uh, uh, at the door at the entry point. We would do. Uh, we had you know checking the temperatures and, and have people fill out questionnaires uh, that would identify you know produce identifiers that would uh, reveal to us whether or not they may or may not have been um, exposed to protect everybody in the plant because our company at the time Lasco Incorporated we built fans and purifiers air purifiers was, was a essential business for the infrastructure and for the health and, and the survival of our community. Our, the state, the nation, the world. NASCO was an awesome, awesome company. They went to bat for their employees uh, in the community at the time. Anyway, these are a few things I want to show you here. So you want an N99 if you can possibly get one. Welding companies make these right here for welders, okay? Trinity Industries is another great company I work for. Uh, this is what all the welders 